Hello and welcome back. Today is finally the day that we clear the mall or we die trying. Uh, so we're going to prepare, start our fire up. I need to get some food and water. Let's see here. Um, these empty bottles are the bourbon bottles that I found a while back. Uh, and you can actually put these, uh, you can fill these with, uh, contaminated water. I might actually drop this one because it's, it's messing me up. But yeah, you can fill these, uh, with, uh, contaminated water and then, uh, you can put them on the campfire. Can't do that with the, uh, plastic bottles. You need a microwave for that, of which we don't have, because we don't have power. So let's grab this one as well. Shrink these categories again. Um, I have, uh, I've got some stuff from the gas station, the gummy bears and jelly beans and whatnot. Dehydrated stick. Uh, and I have all of our shotgun ammo. And I have got our shotgun. So let me put this away. This is our fire starting stuff. Notched plank and... So speed up time a little bit while we're cooking. There we go. So these are all done. These are 30, 30, or 30, 34, and 19. Pretty good, honestly. Put those in our bag. Put out fire. We'll grab our water bottles. And now you can right click these and pour into water bottle, which is nice. And if you use the one that's already empty, you don't have to worry about uh, it going, because it's classifying them all as water bottles, which is a little bit confusing. Pour into water bottle. There we go. Now I've got an extra bottle of water there. Our water is full. We've got cooked food. Um, so I've got the shotgun out. This is this is obviously Brita's. Uh, that's my mistake. We also have 283 shells. This is all the ammo we got from the gun store. And I made one spear, and I stuck our machete to it. Uh, our That was our lower condition machete. Uh, I also have our other machete here in our bag, so we have a backup. So we've got, uh, we've got the Rambo knife, uh, shotgun, pistol, machete, spear, and machete. Which should be uh, way more than enough. Just make sure no one's here. Uh, what I don't know what should we bring in the truck though I've got the gas can it's not that important I got a little bit of food that I never picked up looks like I've got some bait fish these are probably gonna go bad soon I think these are several days old I might just toss them um, so I'm going to drive over there however we may be abandoning the truck over there uh, depending on what happens and how many zombies come out of that mall, uh, I may run. And if I run, I'll go into the forest and we'll just <laughs> we'll just leave the truck behind. The truck doesn't have anything super, super vital in it. Uh, it's got the sledge, but uh, the gun store is already open, so we don't need to worry too much about that. Here. A couple zombies. Uh, it seems fairly clear so far. Here's a small-ish group. I might have to fight them because they are going to be a little bit angry with me for doing that. Alright, I might leave this guy right here. So obviously we're going to have to kill the zombies out front before we start uh, actually going in and fighting the rest of them. Come on. Okay, here's the group from the north. Yeah, these bladed spears are just... They just clear so fast. I almost wonder if maybe I should just use my knife. Oh, 
um, save the durability on the spear because if we need to shred some zombies coming out of the mall, we've got that machete spear ready to go. There's one coming from down there. Actually, I might try to stab this one. She's stuck. Okay. All right. So that's all of them. So let's scope out the... Uh, there's a hunting knife. Attach belt right. Uh, we are slightly overweight. It is because I have the shotgun out. Now the shotgun is a back weapon. Um, I do use... I'm trying to decide if I want to have that shotgun equipped, attached to my back or not. Um, I probably won't, so... Equip in both hands. It's because I've got the indicator up here, so reload this. We've got 8 plus 1. Um, and I... I want to say it will pull... from uh, our bag. I could totally be wrong. Okay, so... Maul. Um, the mall straight ahead. As soon as I fire this gun... All of the, all of these zombies are gonna come at me, um, which I guess is the, is the plan. I'm gonna knife these zombies out here before we start. Why waste it on this small group? Uh, just in case there's a, an atrocious amount of zombies coming from that. Oh, I missed. Ma'am, where are you going? Oh, I missed again. Jeez. Doesn't say much for our uh, chances of clearing them all if I'm already missing all these attacks. Okay, doing good. One of them did have a bladed weapon in their back. I'd like to check that out. Butter or bread knife, of course. Considering, so we found a sledge. And considering we have melee weapons up super high, I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen a katana yet. Um, I found a katana on one of my test characters, actually, with the insanely, insanely rare loot set for all, all melee weapons, all ranged weapons. I found a katana. It was in the military checkpoint, of all places. Not sure why the military needed a katana, but... There's an axe on that guy. I might not take it. We've got two fire axes. Um, and I don't necessarily need... I don't necessarily need a hand axe. I don't know what I'd do with it. Okay, I just realized we are still a little hungry. I might... Oof, durability on our blade is just a dropping in that. Okay, so let's eat one of our one of the one of the big birds. 34. And then he should be good for a minute. Okay, yeah. There's that overhaul mod that I was talking about. We're at level four food. Um, I like that. It's easy to tell just by a glance. So this is the mall. I weirdly don't see any zombies in the food court. What if all this prep and all this all, all this getting ready and preparation and I step into the mall and there's just no one in there? Just no one. Just no one hanging out. Oh, oh they just spawned in. As soon as I step close, they just spawned in. Okay, equip in both hands. Here they are. Here they come. First shot. I'm gonna just reload right now. Looks like we got a group north and west coming. Empty. Oh boy, look at him, look at him coming out. 
Look at him coming out. Ooh. All right, seven and eight. Here we go. Gonna reload. Thank God we have desensitize. Um, I'll reload, and what I think I'll do is sprint. Get a little bit behind our head. And then here we go. Aim. Is that guy in a bunny outfit? He's wearing a bunny outfit. Two shots left. It sounds like someone's behind me, you know? Okay, reload. We're out. How many are coming out, man? They're a little too spread out as the thing to really do. I wonder what I might do is I'm going to do a quick, quick, uh, we're going to do a big circle. So I'm going to walk around in a circle because we're faster than them. And then when I get out in front of them, I'm going to sprint and see if we can get these guys a, a little bit tighter clump. Because they're just a bit too spread out at the moment. Let me sprint around this because they're going to get stuck on this thing. Okay, so, uh, spam shout, and you'll get the attention of all the zombies. They'll, they'll come over here. Zoom in just a little bit. Here they come. Tons of zombies, okay. Sprint whenever we get just a little bit close. This is a lot better. So, what we'll do is we'll find a, I think, swing south, because they're all directly behind me at the moment. Well, most of them are. Okay, let's sprint now. Step out ahead. Okay, spin around. Aim. That's better. Empty. This is a lot better. I'm just gonna drag. I'm gonna keep dragging them south. If I do any tight maneuvers, I could do another circle, but a little too close. I don't like them being that close. Firing too fast. I need to. Uh, we need to sprint after we load. Okay, so sprint a few steps. There's two behind me. You know what? Let's reload. We'll pull them into a tighter clump again. Keep shouting, maybe. Poor guy. He's just a cook. You know, uh, Lester's a cook, too. Just like Carl. He's another cook. Okay. Here we go. Spin around. Okay, that's a tight clump. Look at that. So let's sprint south. Oh, we still have that one right there. This freaking guy, man. I'm gonna have to waste one shell on this guy. What a jerk. Reload. That was all nine shots. And then we'll just keep doing the same thing. Reload. When we're full. Yep. We're at seven plus one. Sprint. Spin around. Aim. Fire. Empty. That was a little too close, though. I should have uh, not done that final shot, I think. Sprint, spin, fire. Okay, reload. Oh, can't reload while you're sprinting, is what, if you're wondering about this, what I am doing here. Should probably check the durability on this thing. Okay. 
empty. Let's scroll down through our list here. Uh, pretty good durability. Looks like we attracted the zombies from uh, through the parking lot a little bit here. So sprint, sprint forward, spin, aim, and start shooting. Bad part about guns is that it is so loud that I won't be able to t hear footsteps behind me. <laughs> Probably the worst part. Um, it looks like they spread out a little bit. Let's shout. Let's do a let's do a tight spin here. Shout a few times, because that group from the uh, parking lot came over, but they are not clumped up like we want. So, spin through here. Get them a little closer. Come on, guys. Play nice. Play nice. Okay, I think... I think they're about bunched up. We'll do one tight... tight swing left here. Sprint... south. Turn, aim, and start shooting. Looks like you get four... four zombies per shot, seemingly. This gun is really good. This is the... Some of the reasons people don't like using Brita's. It's just so good. The distance you can fire and everything. Okay, let's pull out our knife. First group, dead. A success. First group's down. Um, Let's just check out the bodies maybe real quick. It's an awful lot of zombies here, dead. Just scroll through real quick. We're not necessarily looking for anything, unless there's something rare that pops up. Hunting knife. We gotta be a little bit careful because there's just so many, so many corpses here. We might get like sick, chilling. Nothing, 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 okay. Apparently there's a turkey nearby. What's that? Remington. Um, it's got some shotgun. Bulletproof vest, butterfly knife, can opener. Spent forever looking for that, and then we didn't need it ever. Okay, um, let's head inside. Uh, we are not overweight if we are wielding the spear. So let's let's head in. See what's in here. Scope it out. Let's check our skills too. One, uh, two, three, four, five, six. Got up to aiming six. We do have a seventy-five percent bonus on aiming because we are a hunter, I believe. Yeah, hunter. Okay, so wanted to look at the kills too. So we're up to 3,300 kills. I'll just stab these guys. Come on over. That guy has what I believe to be a... Okay, that is the Brita's knife that we're currently using, so... I'll just use that. Because this one's about to break. So let's take uh, this one, attach belt right, I'll put the hunting knife away, and we'll use this until it uh, breaks. So close this window and let's head inside. Hello, we are in the mall. Oh, oh I don't have a weapon now. Can't loot any of this, it looks like. So this is the... I am 100% uh, not familiar with them all. I have no idea what shops are in here. How many shops, how many floors. There's a big group there. There's one zombie in this court. And there's something to the south that looks like... 
Oh my god, three misses? No one saw that. Pretend you didn't see that. Yeah, so there's like a play center here and a small restaurant. Let's check this out. Here's some zombies. Zoom in just a little bit. You don't want to get caught off guard. It's a Spiffos! A shotgun wielding police officer outside. If I come in here, they'll see me and uh, I can get them to... So I'll wh what I'll do is I'll whisper and they'll, they'll start banging on that window. They'll make their way in here. Um, this thing is multi-floored. I'm almost positive it's multi-floored. So one of the things I'm a little bit worried about is similar to... Similar to, uh... Oh my gosh. Where's he going? Come on. <laughs> Similar to the construction site. Uh... Oh! Oh! Almost. Almost got us. Freaking hell. Alright, here's our shoddy zombie. Key. Take the key. He has no ammo. It is just the shotgun, so we're not- we're okay with that. Uh, what I was saying, similar to the construction site, when we started fighting in the construction site, the upper floors came down towards us, because we made noise. Um, I'm not familiar with this place. No idea where the- oh shit. Bad time for that weapon to break. Um, no idea where the upper floor- uh, uh, sorry, staircases, so we could have a huge group of zombies coming out of nowhere. Um, I would assume center up there is somewhere as a staircase. However, there might be, there might be employee only back, back rooms in here somewhere. Uh, that leads up. So, a little worried about that, I guess. We'll drop this on the ground, we don't need it. So our first, uh, first, uh, blade broke. Okay. So this is more of the food court. There is definitely a back room and a hall back there, because I can see, like, loading docks and stuff. Loading doors. Okay. Let's just make sure we're clear behind us. There's one guy behind us chilling, hanging out. I think something we could do is just we could just fire the shotgun and see how many start pouring out. Something interesting on here. To check that body out. What was that? Key, magazine, beta blockers, screws. Tactical axe. That's interesting. Um, it just feels like a waste to waste uh, a, a one one shotgun, 112 gauge on uh, a single zombie. Um, I could go... Oh, here's a bunch piling out. I don't know where these guys all came from. Hello. If we find an opening, I think we'll pull out the shotgun and fire. See what happens. I'm gonna stop sneaking. I'm burning unnecessary fatigue by doing that. Just keep an eye on behind me. Uh, also, the our, our sneak skill is almost level 10, so we might be... Well, we're almost there. Maybe we'll keep doing it. Alright, let's, let's go about this. Alright, so this looks like the back rooms that I was talking about. They were going to be present at some point. The rooms that aren't visible normally to if you go to a mall. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to pull out the shotgun. Uh, equip both hands. Um, I'm going to sprint over here. I'm gonna fire this guy. Alright, 
Here they come. Reload. I'll shout again. We'll get some more attention. The range on this thing. I guess it is fairly realistic. A lot of games, the shotguns um, are so such a short range, but you can fire a pretty decent distance with one. One down there. Looks like they're all stuck or something. They don't want to come over. Okay, reload. That's a lot of zombies coming out. That's a whole lot of zombies coming out. And it looks like we got some from the south, so... I'm gonna just sprint around the corner here real quick. We don't want to get caught from behind by those guys. Ouch. One behind us. Sprint. Okay. Um, might be time to head outside, because we're getting dangerously close to getting trapped. I know there's lots of ways to go in here, but... Jammed. X clears jam. Um, if you ever encounter that and you're panicking, don't know what to do, X will clear it. Unless you've changed your default keybinds. Heading outside. It is 2 p.m. We've got 161 shells by the looks. Reload. They're going to approach us before we can finish reloading, so we do need to keep backing up a little bit. Turn and aim. Boy, look at them coming out. Jammed again. Turn. Got, they're sort of spread out a little bit. Reload. I may need to sprint a little bit because they're getting just a little too close here. We'll sprint a few steps. Turn, aim. Here we go. Reload. Oh boy, that's a lot of zombies. That's a little bit more than uh, previously when we came in here. 136 shells left, it looks like. Um, gonna say now, I do not believe that is enough ammo to kill all the zombies we've pulled out of here. I am not even sure if we have enough uh, stamina to fight all these guys. Uh, what I would like to do, I'm gonna do a quick spin like we did earlier. Get them a little bit tighter together. Because we're getting a little bit messed up with them being so spread out. So let's uh, spin around here. Perfect. We'll shout. Fatigue is still good. Endurance is still good. We're still we're doing alright. So this is from the middle of the mall. Um, so we've, we cleared one room, the food court, and then we cleared up to that other room up there. Come on. They have long memory. They shouldn't be forgetting about us so fast, those ones that are just sort of hanging out over there. I wonder if I should do another, another spin, because there are a couple sort of spread out a little bit. All right, now let's just let's run over here, spin, aim. It's a decent clone. Okay, empty. Just keep on kiting. Spin and aim. One zombie. That's the annoying part if you don't get them in a tight clump. There can be one... One boy or lady that gets out of line and wants to come say hi before everybody else. Jammed. I didn't notice in time, so that was a waste.
It's just a little spread out. I think this is just stragglers still kind of coming out. Let's keep shouting, keep their attention. Do a tight, tight, this is a very tight turn. Try to get in between of those. There we go. All right, sprint. And then we're going to spin and aim. That's a pretty good. I think that's good. Empty. Okay. And then we'll do a tight uh, spin around these bushes here. This is one extra zombie over here. Alright. We're gonna need to sprint a little bit here. Spin it in. There's one behind us. I saw him right before. I'm gonna try to unload real quick. Okay. Let's see if I can get him in camera. There he is. Blue behind the blue car. I saw him walking over. Sprint, turn, and aim. Okay. Tight turn here. We'll keep them together. I'm going to sprint up here and turn. Oh, there's one there. What a jerk. There's actually a couple there. How annoying. Empty. Alright. We gotta reload because these... These zombies, these stragglers are coming up behind us like this. One behind us. Jammed. Alright, reload. Let's check the durability on this, see if we're messing it up. It's still real good. Real good. Spent through here. Turn and aim. Look, this clump of like 300 or however many zombies this was, was it's finally coming down. Kill some of these with the spear. It's a smaller group. The gun's not necessary. Um, we could use the spear to shred those groups anyways. I saw- so the hard part here is I saw a zombie with a shotgun while I was fighting him. But how in the world am I gonna find him in these- this massive clump of zombies? Like, there's no way, right? We'll pull out our blade. So we are down to... 53 shotgun shells. Oh, that made me nervous. Execute always makes me nervous. Because it looks like the full bite animation goes off. something right here, actually. I can see it. Looks like a spear. Yeah, it was. Spear of the hunting knife. Oh. Uh, there's a shotgun right there. Is that the one I was thinking of? Alright. We'll unload that bad boy. Drop this thing. There we go. Got six. I think that was six shot. Five shots. Pretty good. All right, back into the mall. Our aiming skill has progressed great, up to seven. <laughs> um, we're, I think we we're at thirty-three hundred when I last looked. Now we're at thirty-eight hundred kills. A lot of zombies in here. A whole lot of zombies. It's both a lot and less than I expected. 
Uh, I really expected far, far greater numbers than this. Um, I think I could have come in here and started picking these off before we had the gun, if I'm being honest. I don't think anything would have gone wrong doing that. Would have been perfectly fine. I heard... So I heard growling from this way. Right there, I saw I saw the person go. So there's another back hall similar to the south part of the mall here. Um, or where my cursor is. Looks like we're hungry again. Still a lot. We killed, uh, what was that? 400 zombies just now? And there's still just so many in here. <laughs> this is wild. It's like the whole population of Louisville ended up down in the mall. Everybody went to the mall to get sick together. It's a key. Did I pick up a key? I can't remember if I picked up a key. I'll do it again. I might have already picked that key up, but that'll let me unlock the doors. I briefly mentioned that, I think, in one of my videos, but I remember that's one of the changes they're doing. A, uh, right currently, when you kill a zombie in a building, he has a fairly high chance, honestly, to drop a key that will unlock the building you are in. Um, and that is being changed to uh, only the employee of the building will drop a key. Which is probably a good change because why would, you know, why would random Fred have a key to the friggin' mall? Doesn't make any sense. This is so many zombies. Anyone behind us? Doesn't look like it. Kind of hard, hard for me to see. Oh, our man, that thing broke already. Um, machete, I guess. I don't know if I want to use. The spear for this. I think I would rather use the machete. Um, also, we're hungry too, so... We need to eat. <laughs> Nothing like eating a, a... Nice meal on top of a bunch of corpses. I do... Oh, I do have this hunting knife. Okay, attach belt left. So this is not as good as the Rambo knife or whatever it is we have. The... 13-inch knife, so we'll... It's a little bit less damage. Actually, I think it's a lot less damage, because that other blade is a Brita's weapon, which are... Those are tuned fairly high. Oh. Die, please. Can I get the stab? I don't got him anyways. There is a mall directory right there. It'd be kind of cool if I could if I could look at this and actually see what the heck is in here. They're all piling out of the bathroom. Typical zombie. Ooh. Oh, that's outside up there. Look at that. Interesting. Another one coming out of the bathroom. Don't trust bathrooms. Zombie apocalypse, do not trust bathrooms. Don't trust bathrooms in this game. Specifically. Wow. Look at them all. Just kind of scanning up there. Shit, gotta move. They're behind us. That guy snuck up on me. Okay, so this blade is less damage than the Rambo knife. So, uh... Maybe a little bit more careful because there'll be less one-shots. And, uh... More multi-stabs to get a kill. Which I have grown accustomed to the one-shots with the knife while I'm backing up. Just kind of panning my camera behind me after every every so often here. Just to make sure we're not getting snuck up on. Always be aware of what's behind you. Good, good, good. 
Miss. That's okay. That's alright. We're doing alright. We're still not exhausted. Um, fatigue is getting there. Um, it says our boredom is rise going up. I think is what that is. Which is interesting. I mean, we're fighting and he's getting bored. Just spin the camera behind us. Nothing. I don't know where... I honestly... I don't know where these are coming from. Are they coming from upstairs above us? Because they're hearing the noise? I'm not zoomed out enough to see... Where in the world they're all coming from, but... They're just sort of slowly coming at us. That's okay, though. We, I would prefer them to slowly walk at us. Do a quick shove there. Got a little nervous. Another shove. Spin around. Nothing. Walk towards this guy. Yeah, his, his boredom gauge is straight up going up. It's actually climbing. He's bored. He doesn't want to be in here. Um, I wonder if there's a empty gas can. That zombie's carrying a gas can. How weird. I wonder if there's a mod to change that because this is bizarre. It's really weird that he's getting so bored. I mean, we just killed like 800, 900,000 zombies in here and we're like actually fighting. Could be the desensitized mod. I don't think you're bored when you're panicked. It could be because he can't get panicked. So, in the middle of killing a thousand zombies, we're going to need to read a magazine to uh, reduce <laughs> boredom level. <laughs> um, okay, he's got the queasy moodlet. That's annoying. I mean, we are- we're fighting thing- we're fighting next to so many. There's so many corpses near us. It's to be expected. I don't have a mask. Queasy Moodlet is not something you want to take lightly. Um, your character can get sick and will will just straight up die. Um, you won't be able to uh, help it unless you have access to... Hang on, there's one behind us. Yeah. Unless you have access to a decent amount of uh, medical supplies, of which we do not. Yeah, I might need to head out. There is one behind me. Might need to head outside here soon. Stop the slaughter because we are it's getting sick. But they're just they're coming at me one by one here, so like I wanna keep killing because this, these are easy These are easy kills. The chances of me messing these kills up are pretty low. What I could do is I could just sprint through here and see what the heck is up. Oh. Boy, that's a lot. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Holy cow, that's a lot of zombies. Okay, maybe there were more zombies in and he's bored now. He's bored and he's queasy. Weird guy. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I'm just going to sprint. We're going to sprint out of the mall. He's sick. Or feeling queasy, rather. And there is just so many zombies in there. Um, far more than we have ammo for. Unless I started using pistol and some other stuff. So I'm thinking we're going to need to modify our plan. We're going to have to start fighting these guys uh, with our melee weapons. More kind of similar to we are. It's going to be a slower process. We, we, oop, what's this? Get rid of that. We killed, we killed a lot. I mean, we're at almost... 4,000 kills right now. We've, we've killed so many zombies. Locked. Oh, tire pump. I don't have a tire pump. Let me take that. We got room for it. 
It said it was locked, but it let me loot it, weirdly. Someone uh, made a comment that uh, I will have higher chances of finding twine in vehicles. There's another tire pump. Screwdriver. Another tire pump. <laughs> Jeez. Um, we have. We currently have enough for three. Three um. Traps. Oh, this is open already. Like, why isn't there anything in there? Let me pin this so I don't have to keep going up there. Also locked. If you are unawares, um, when you're messing with some of these windows here, you can hit this little arrow icon in the top right corner and it will pin the window open. And now, while we are going... While we are going through here... Oh, the queasy moodlet went away. Nice. Um, so we should see this adjust as we come across. So it's adjusting to each uh, vehicle we come across. It's a lock. Boy, a lot of locked vehicles in here. Screwdriver and wrench. There's a cop car. Open. Battery magazine. Warehouse to the left there. In the mall. Mall warehouse? Maybe we should have gone in from that point. Our rifle scope, first aid kit, which is empty. Cop car is open. While the back, the trunk's open. Makes sense. He's probably coming here to respond to zombies. Car battery type standard. Um, these are heavy. I do have room to loot this. Thing is, is I don't know if I want to loot that. Uh, because we, we have a heavy duty vehicle and I just don't see... What is that? That's something we don't have, I think. Suture needle. I don't have that. Although, if I get a deep wound, I'm probably dead anyways, so it's not a huge deal. <laughs> Louisville map. Supposedly, um, I read somewhere that you can find bodies in a vehicle, which is interesting. I've never encountered that, and it might have been that that particular person had some kind of a mod on that let that happen. Okay, I thought... Oh, here we go. Okay. Here banging. No one's behind me. Alright. So, uh, fire bomb, smoke bomb, campfire materials, duffel bag that's empty. This is two. I'll take the fire bomb. That will for sure get us killed if I try to use that. Nothing. Locked. Let's put this away. Oh, here's another little ATV thing. A lot of loot in these. Duct tape, I'll take that. Can't remember if I have a lug wrench. Pipe bomb? Jeez. I'm gonna take the lug wrench. I, I can't remember if I have it. I'll take the empty bottle. Noise maker. Whip bomb and perform basic attack throw. Interesting. Getting a little overweight. Bandage. Good find. We only have one of those. Let's check the back. I don't even really need another uh, bird trap, if I'm being honest. Unlock the trunk. Didn't realize it was locked. Okay, open this up. First aid kit. Uh, there's an adhesive bandage in there. I don't care about those. Propane tank welding rods. Um, I should, I should take this. Uh, this is going to make us very overweight though. Um, I think equipped weight is three. So let's equip this secondary because I can still equip a knife and we'll go back. That's a pretty good find. Um, if you are playing the game 
and you find something like this, uh, like a mini fridge or a generator or whatever, um, if you can see in the tooltip window, there's an equipped, an encumbrance weight. There's a equipped weight and an unequipped weight. So if I put this propane tank in my bag, it weighs 10 pounds. But if I equip it, it's three pounds. Um, so you can uh, equip something. Just remember that if you are doing that, you need to have a one-handed weapon. Or, or you'll have no weapon. One of the two. I just realized our calories are... So down. Um, so we're going to be losing weight here. Zoom out, see if there's any any uh, guys. Oh my goodness, look at all the corpses. Wow. So we need to dump all this stuff off in the truck. We can keep looting, I guess, since there's vehicles here. And we found pretty good stuff, honestly, in the vehicles. Uh, so this stuff has good calories, I'm pretty sure. Oh, let's, un let's unequip this stuff before I start taking damage because I'm carrying too much junk. Okay, that's good. Welding rods, put those away. All right, we've got firebomb, noisemaker, put those away. Probably just leave those in the truck, honestly. I've got too many sterilized bandages now that I've got regular bandages. Lug wrench. Hang on. Lug wrench. Tire pump. Empty bottle. Put that away. Um, trunk has a lot of weight available, so I'm just going to go ahead and eat jelly beans and gummy bears and stuff. Hopefully that gets our calories up. Gummy bears. I did not realize that his calories were so low. I don't want to lose a bunch of weight. It was probably because I was exercising so much. Um, so we're at four. I'm going to grab the plonkies. Baka cakes. Yeah. And we'll keep those on us. Alright, let's go back. I can't I cannot remember if I've looted these vehicles. It has been so long. Pin this again. Uh toilet paper. He's now tired. This is locked. Didn't realize it was locked. I have the key to this car, so I must have been through here. Nothing. I'm gonna go back to where we were. Toyota Helix key. Don't know what vehicle that is, but we now have the key to it. Nothing in the back. Come on. We don't want to fight a horde because we are tired. The lock is broken. Interesting. Does it work if I unlock it though? Let's check it out. It does. A sack? We need a sack. A sack, I believe, unless you're using a mod. I've, a sack is the only way to get uh, compost. I'm not using that, that thing's junk. I used that push dagger briefly and I almost died. Uh, but in order to fill, or to move dirt around I think, and to fill, uh, or to pick up compost, uh, oh no, fertilizer, etc. I think you need a sack, specifically a sack. I don't think you can use, I might be wrong on that, but I don't think you can use uh, like a plastic bag or anything anything else you may assume that you could normally use because it is just a bag, right? There's probably a mod to fix it. I mean, there's a mod to fix everything, right? Let's 
favor. So I have the... Apparently I have the key to this thing. Uh, we were at the end of this line. Mm, nah, let's just let's just go back. We're tired. Uh, we've we found some decent stuff and put these away. Put the shotgun away. I'm not going to use that currently. I might not even bring that with because we only have 50 shots. Or maybe I will. We have pistols, but it's going to take. Uh, it, it's you don't get multi kills with it, so it's going to be. This is literally just 175 zombies. Which we can go through quickly, firing, but yeah. Uh, so the mall has been partially cleared. We have not been able to loot any of it. We found some decent stuff. We found nothing in the mall. We're going to have to fully clear that before we get anything out of it. But um, I'm thinking there's going to be real good stuff in there once we do finally clear it out. So let's head back. Uh, there was a small group of zombies up here. They followed us. I mean, everything up here has either recently come up here because they are moving around, like these guys probably, or because I was firing that shotgun so often, they should be have been attracted to us. Head back to base. Got the tire pump now, so we can check and check the uh, pressure, or at least we can adjust the pressure in our vehicle, so we won't lose a tire if we hit a zombie body. I'm going to walk around the perimeter real quick here. Um, I have had a total of five zombies show up at our perimeter wall. So just to be safe. I did cut down all these trees. I got some logs out here still that I haven't moved. Okay. It looks like we're fine. There's this guy here. Yeah, all right. So I think, I think this is where we call the episode. We made pretty good progress. Um, yeah. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.